Yeah, so today, I'm looking at this huge barrel of a lens. It's quite, it's quite daunting. It is. Am I, am I, I going to look straight into the lens like this? Yeah. Straight into the lens. You need a little bit of a backstory here. So I've been tasked with putting together as much content for a certain video platform as possible. And I've been filming for a long time, and we've got a lot of clips of natural history things that I've filmed when I've been on shoots and with tourists and on holiday. And we're busy packaging that, and we're missing the crucial piece, which is cat sharks right here in Cape Town. So we're going to go get that today. We're going to introduce underwater photography. We're going to show you the beauty of Cape Town. We're going to get some kit advice. We're going to go on a shore dive, the dirty behind the scenes. There's Danny. Behind the lens, lens woman, and uh, my dog's down in the corner there. Marlon! So at the end of this, I hope to show you the shots included in a more natural history film, a short film about sharks of the world. Join us for the journey. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Let's have a look and see if I've forgotten anything. Memory cards. Memory cards. I've got a whole bunch of memory cards. Fins, masks, snorkels, dive kits, wetsuits, tripods and a whole lot of good times, good attitudes and good fun. And what else do we need to do? The wind's blowing, so we're going to have to like check a couple spots and then find one that works, basically. Oh, we need to, we need to tell you what a cat shark is and what we're looking for today. We have, you probably have no idea what a cat shark even is, right? Shit, how do I show that? Okay. Sharks are a massive group of creatures, from big ragged tooth sharks and whale sharks, right down to very small creatures, like what we're going to look for today, and that is Pajama sharks, Pafata shy sharks, these are small, endemic, very, very special creatures that live only in the kelp forest in our area. So that is our sharky mission for today. But obviously first we have to go to Olympia Bakery and get a croissant and a coffee. Let's pop in, have a look. I can't actually speak, there's too much croissant in my face. This is delicious. We're driving past False Bay, and it's a, it's a big protected bay in Cape Town. The water temperatures are around 12 to 18 degrees, and it's full, full of life. It's incredible. What we're going to find today is incredible kelp forests, um, a lot of endemic reef fish, and hopefully these cat sharks that we're looking for. So yeah, looking forward to getting in the water. One of the spots we're going to check is called Windmill Beach. It's really protected and really nice. And we're going to have to check out a couple of spots today because of the wind and the swell and the ocean conditions. We're looking for a shallow protected bay that's really clean. So it's definitely an option. This bay over here will definitely have cat sharks in it. So we've checked out two spots along the coastline for conditions that will really suit filming and getting in the water with what we need. And I was going to go check out a spot in Cape Point, but I know now that I've seen the swell that it's going to be too surgy and they're going to kick up some dirt in the water. So we're going to pull over, turn around, head back to that other rock pool and get in the water there. <laughs> So we're coming up to Miller's Point and this is just on the edge of a marine protected area called Castle Rock Marine Reserve and there is an amazing protected rock pool just around the corner here. It's normally like really hidden from people's views so not everyone knows about it. So the big camera that I want to use today to try to get the best quality images possible is this Sony A7S in an underwater housing. And having lights changes, changes the game. You need to light up your subject. Stability is key underwater. And so this is an absolute, I promise you, an abomination of a way to do it. But a gorilla pod will do the job just fine. And as you can see, I've strapped some, some dive weights onto the bottom. And that's what makes a great shot. housing over here, GoPros, Sony A7S, all the kit we need. So it's super windy, sounds probably atrocious right now, but it doesn't really matter, it's real and that's what matters about this whole idea, it's the most real it can be. Danny is going for some amazing and very good bodyboarding fins and 
I've got these ginormous carbon fiber <laughs> free diving bins. We're on a mission. Right there in the shallows were cat sharks as we got in the water. It was actually better than I thought it was going to be. There was pajama sharks, there was dark shy sharks, and quite a few of them too. So we were able to get the camera right close, film them with the lights. And it's such a beautiful area because there's sea urchins and the kelps coming up and we found that one pajama shark which had his nose like tucked in underneath the rock and all the weed washing over. I got a few moments with him and then he moved off and disappeared. So it was a, a good adventure. <laughs> Shut that. Yo, so we're back. Back in the fucking hell. <laughs> sure, we're back. We've got the cat sharks. It was an amazing morning's snorkeling and filming. And think about it, this is only one day to get a few shots of cat sharks in the sequence of the film we're busy making. So when you watch the shark film, we've got shots from Mozambique, Tanzania, from a range of sharks, from whale sharks to white sharks to seven gills. So I hope you can appreciate how much effort goes into getting all this footage. Now you've had a very unique look behind the lens of what it takes to get some of these shots. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> 